this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling honest because today our quote of the day is, no legacy is so rich as honesty by William Shakespeare. If you really want to leave a legacy, leave one where people can say that you were honest. Honesty is so important because when you are not honest, you are not only being dishonest, you are also stealing from another person their right to know the truth. To be honest takes courage and strength, and it is not always easy to admit the truth. Abraham Lincoln's good name for honesty and integrity helped him win four consecutive terms in legislature. Honesty to him was critical. In fact, as a lawyer, he stated that there was popular belief that lawyers were dishonest. And his advice to potential lawyers was to either resolve to be honest at all events as lawyers or to choose another occupation if they felt that they could not be honest as a lawyer. Abraham Lincoln, because of his honesty, he was able to devote his energies to solving political issues and winning the war at the time. Abraham Lincoln is often considered the greatest president of the United States of America. Never let your actions disgrace your name. It is like a boomerang that will come back to you. Always maintain your integrity. Whenever you have the temptation to lie, stop yourself in your tracks. Treat it like as if it's a fire that needs to be extinguished immediately because it really does. Being dishonest can ruin your future. Dishonesty is like an addiction. Once you start and see how easy it is, it can be very difficult to stop. A lie may offer a short-term escape from a problem, but this lie may make the problem become much more cumbersome as time goes by. The more lies, then more and more lies are needed to maintain the first lie. And this changes your view of reality, which is very destructive for your life. Almost daily we face such a dilemma about whether or not to lie. There is of course a need for tact when dealing with other people. You don't need to say that a person's shirt or, or something like that is not nice if they cannot change it. But a planned lie for personal gain is something to be avoided at all costs, even with people who you do not know. Being honest builds character. And this ensures that you are connected with reality as it really is. This makes you stronger and more courageous, which makes you more able for making things happen in your life. It brings you towards your better and better version of yourself. I recommend that if you find yourself wishing to lie about something specific in your life, or if you find yourself lying a small lie over and over again in one particular area of your life, then maybe it's time to actually do the work to achieve what you are lying about so that you won't have to lie about it anymore and you can really be that person that you desire to be. You see, when we lie, we are deceiving not only other people of their right to know the truth, but we also deceive ourselves. We truly, deep down, know what is real and what is not. And when we choose to lie, we are sending a message to our subconscious mind that we are just not good enough as we are. And this is very, very destructive for our well-being. We are forming a story that is not connected to reality and thus preventing ourselves and other people from knowing what is real and what is not. It forms a false illusion of what really is. And basically, this is a kind of theft. As I said, it is stealing. But not only are you stealing from another person their view of reality, you are also changing your own sense of reality. And when you live in a false sense of reality, you will suffer. Many people take advantage of situations for their own personal benefit. Do not be one of those people. It's a small world and lies will surface in the end and they can ruin a person's life and their career. All relationships are based on truth and honesty. In, in the long term, this is the only way to build a foundation that a relationship can thrive upon. All lies start from fear. People may lie because they don't think that they are good enough as they are or capable enough. 
And when you lie, you are lacking the courage to do what is right and to offer what is real. This is cowardliness. And you do not want to leave a legacy of being a coward. I want to tell you a very powerful story that is taught in some schools. And because of the powerfully positive effect that it had on myself and my daughter's life, I wish to share it with you. It is a story of an aging king who woke up one day aware of his own mortality. He had no sons, and in his culture, only a male heir could take his place. So he decided that he would adopt a son to take his throne. The king launched a competition in his kingdom, open to all boys, no matter what their background. The winner would become the king's adopted son and heir to his throne. The competition was long, and out of the thousands who applied, 10 of the best reached the last competition. They were all very smart and very capable. And then the king said to them, since this kingdom depends solely on agriculture, the new king must know how to cultivate plants. He then gave each of the boys seven seeds of grain. He told them to take these seeds home, plant them, and nurture them for six weeks. At the end of six weeks, we shall see who has done the best job of cultivating this grain, these seeds of grain. That person will be my son and will be my heir. And the boys took their seeds and went home and each got a pot and prepared the soil and sowed the seeds. There was a lot of excitement in the kingdom as the people waited to see who was the destined uh, new king. In one home, the boy and his parents were almost heartbroken. When the days stretched into weeks and the seeds failed to sprout, the boy did not know what had gone wrong. He had selected the best soil. He had applied the right quantity of fertilizer and water and, and light, and he had been dutifully caring for these seeds. Everything at the right timing with the right intervals, and he had even prayed over day and night for these seeds, but they turned out to be unproductive. Some of his friends ad advised him to go to the market and buy seeds and plant those seeds. After all, they said, how can anyone tell one seed from another? But his parents, who had always taught him the value of honesty and integrity, reminded him that if the king wanted to plant just this grain, uh, then this is what he asked for to be done. And if he had wanted them to plant any grain, then he would have told them to do this. But he gave them these seven grains and asked them to go and uh, plant these grains. If you take, they told him, if you take anything different from what the king gave you, that would be dishonesty. Maybe you are just not destined for the throne. If so, let it be. But don't have, don't, don't be found to be a, a deceiving person who deceived the king. So the appointed date came and the boys returned to the palace, each of them proudly exhibiting a pot of healthy seedlings. It was obvious that the other nine boys had great success with their seeds. And the king began making his way down the line of boys and asked them each, is this what came out of the seeds that I gave you? And each boy responded, yes, your majesty. And the king would nod and move down the line. And the king finally uh, came to the last boy in line. The boy was really, really scared. He was afraid that the, that the king might throw him in prison for wasting uh, valuable seeds. The king asked him, what happened with the seeds I gave you? And the boy said, I planted them and cared for them diligently. But your majesty, they failed to sprout, unfortunately. He hung his head in shame, but the king raised his hands and signaled to the crowd, silence everyone, my people, we have a new king. And the people were very, very confused. He lifted up the hand of the boy and said, this is the new king. Everyone was very, very curious why the king chose this boy of all the boys. And he said, I gave these boils these boys boiled seeds. This test was not for cultivating grain. It was a test of character, a test of integrity. It was the ultimate test for honesty. 
if a king must have one quality, it should be honesty. And only this boy passed the test because a boiled seed cannot sprout. <laughs> so this is a, a really, really strong and powerful story. I really say overcome the temptation to lie and in the end you will really gain from telling the truth. Remember, as Jesus said in the New Testament, the truth shall set you free. Being honest shows that you have the courage to be who you really are and face all that you have done and all that you have not done. A relationship or a job may be at stake when you tell the truth, but being honest will always get you to the right place for you, where you really need to be and want to be and should be. Jim Rohn absolutely said it best when he said, pay whatever price the truth costs, because in the long run, it's a real bargain. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer can help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, in which area of your life do you find yourself lying? And can you do something to make your lies a reality? If you can, then put in the effort to make your lies a reality. But if you can't, then stop the dishonesty and be courageous enough to be who you really are. You will be happier with yourself, and in the long run, you will have the right foundation for lasting happiness. As usual, I recommend writing this question in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can go over them and look and make sure that you are improving your life to reach the best potential of you. Now, to finish this video off, the affirmation of the day is, I am in control of what I say, and my natural response is of honesty. I am in control of what I say, and my natural response is of honesty. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life through repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button to get notifications every time I upload a new video. Also visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.